Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for the December 23rd gas. This is called Frame Sudoku. This is by Bill Murphy, and it's fairly straightforward as far as the rule set goes. Normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have frame clues, and they give the sum of the first three digits in the direction of the, away from the clue. So this is a 15. So the first three cells away from that 15 have digits summing to 15. And we have 15 at the ends of every row and every column on both sides. So that has an interesting effect on this grid. If these three cells sum to 15 and these three cells sum to 15, so do these three cells. So in fact, every triple within a box in any direction is going to sum to 15. And we are going to make use of that in getting through the solve. Um, but let's just jump right in. And we're going to start with 9 um, in this box because it's the most restricted um, of our starting digits. And the reason for that is to make 15, we need 6 in the remaining 2 cells. And there are only two ways to do that. One of them is 2, 4, but we have a 4 in the row already. So instead we have to have 5, 1, and we have a 1 there. That means going in this direction, which again also sums to 15, because of the clues in the column, we're going to need 2, 4. We need a 3 here to go with the 5 and 7, since 5 and 7 is 12. And that means we have 3, 8. To get to 15, we need a 4 there, 2 there, and 6 is the last digit. And you're going to be seeing these triples a lot. We're going to have the same triples everywhere in the grid. Um, but you don't need that knowledge to solve the puzzle. It's just, it's useful to know. So I'm going to look across the grid at this 5, and 5 is our least restricted digit. We need 10 in two cells, and there are four different ways to do that. And that's why you have five in the middle of a magic square, because there are four different directions that it has to cover. But we already have three digits in the row, and they are ruling out two eight, three seven, and four six. So these have to be one nine. And now looking at these mini columns, we can't have six nine together because we would need a zero in the last cell. They already summed to 15. We can't have four and one together. We would need a 10 to get to 15. So these have to go in the other order, like this. Now four and nine is 13, so we need a two. One and eight is seven, so we need an eight. Four and eight is 12, so we need a three. Three and five is eight, so we need a seven. The two six is also eight, so whichever way you want to do that. Okay, let's go down here now, and with the 3, we can, we need to make 12 in two cells. We can do that either with 4, 8, but we have a 4. The other possibility is 5, 7. Can't have 6, 6, and we can't have 3, 9 because we're already using the 3. So this is the only possibility. It's disambiguated by this 7. We have 5 and 1, 7 and 6, so we need 9 here. 9 and 2 sum to 11, so we need a 4. 3 and 4 are 7, so we need an 8. And 6 to finish the box. And now we can look vertically. We need 2, 4, 9 in these cells. This can't be 2, this can't be 4. We need 3, 5, 7 here. This can't be 3, this can't be 5. We need 1, 6, 8 here. This can't be 6, this can't be 1. And we'll come back to these. We could resolve this, but we'll, we'll come down here first. Um, let's look at this. Well, we can look at the 9 since we've already done this. The 4 is already in the row, so this has to be 1, 5. There's a 5 there. These are 2, 4. There's a 2 here. And now we need 6 to go between 2 and 7. And we need 3 to go with 4 and 8. And you'll notice we have the same triples. So that means we have roping. Um, the 267 are going to go down here. 
and we have two twos. So this is two, the six makes the seven, the six. These are one, five, nine. We have two ones. So this is one, the five here means this is nine and five. And then we can complete our sums of 15 here. And this one actually is a magic square. So this is also 15 and this is also 15. These are five and seven, we have a five here. These are four and nine with a four there. And these are six and eight with a six here. And we could check all of these to make sure we have the right sum, but because we keep getting the same triples, there's not really anything to check. The eight makes this a one. The six makes this an eight, six. The nine makes this a two. The four makes this a nine, four. And we can finish this a number of ways, but one nine, we need a five. Eight and four need a three, and six and two need a seven. This is three and eight with an eight there, so three, eight. Three, five needs seven. Six, seven needs two. Four and two need nine, and one to finish the box. And now in the middle, we have two, four, nine here. Two and the four get nine there. Four gives two, four. These are six and seven with a six here. These are one and five with a one here. And these are three and eight in that order. And that's the solution. And you can check that um, this is true, but we end up with repeated triples all throughout the grid. So every row has a 267 triple, a 348 triple, and a 159 triple. Every column has a 357, a 249, and a 168. And that's true of every row, every column, every box. And these are actually called semi-magic squares. So 15 in each horizontal and vertical direction, but not necessarily the diagonals. This has one diagonal, but the other diagonal sums to six. This one is a full-on magic square, and so is this one. But the rest of them are called semi-magic squares. Uh, in fact, this one, neither diagonal sums to 15 because there are only way, two ways to make 15 using a three. Since we have an odd digit that's not five, we only get the horizontals and verticals. But anyway, that's kind of what Bill was going for with all of the frame blues being 15. So you end up with a neat structure. And I hope you enjoyed that puzzle and didn't find the math too daunting. But bye for now.